Time is truly our most precious commodity. Here's how I spent mine. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back. Welcome to. If you're new, my name is Abria Perry, and welcome to my channel. I am on a journey to design a passionate, purposeful, and pliable life, and I'm taking you all with me. I run a brand called Thin Style that aims to empower you to do the same with a financial literacy twist, right? Because we believe that while money will not make you joyful, understanding financial literacy is a powerful, powerful tool towards prioritizing what it is that you truly, truly value. So today we are vlogging y'all. Today is just a normal Saturday. Nothing crazy, nothing special, just a Saturday. And I am so grateful for a normal Saturday where I don't have to be anywhere. I don't have to be doing anything. I didn't commit to anything. I don't owe anyone anything. <laughs> um, it is just... I just recently got back from traveling. I went to South by Southwest and it was an absolutely incredible experience. Um, this was my second year going and I think that this year was even better than last year because I knew what to expect. I knew how to kind of like navigate the festival. Um, and I was also really intentional about what I went to. I wasn't out here feeling like I had to be on every set doing everything. Um, so, yeah. The theme of today's vlog is spontaneity. I have been working to be very diligent about leaving room for the spontaneity of God and not trying to constantly be in control of everything um well honestly not trying to be in control period because at the end of the day control is an illusion baby um but when I say control I mean planning things everything being so regimented so much of life is naturally regimented at least my life um in terms of what I need to be doing where I need to be who I need to be talking to from a work perspective like there are plenty of plans already in place for basically everything. So I have been being very diligent about not making my weekends the same. Um, Nate said to me last night, he was like, we should go to a coffee shop tomorrow. So guess where I'm going? To a coffee shop um like literally before we were gonna go to bed we were like let's go to a coffee shop so that's what we're doing i might do some work i might not i might read my book i might sit and stare at the wall i don't know we'll figure it out when we get there <laughs> and i am very happy with that so that is what we are doing today um, that is how we are starting the day. Can't tell y'all what we're doing later. <laughs> but we are going to figure it out as we go. So, yeah. Those are the vibes. That is what we are up to. Let's put a little bit of makeup on. Put a little bit of face on. I think I'm going to wear my glasses. So I'm not going to put my contacts in. I wore my contacts all week at South By and now I kind of feel like I should just give my eyes a little bit of a break so they don't like dry out. I was just watching my girl Alyssa, um, Life with Liz. If y'all do not follow her, please go ahead and do so. I love me some her. She seems like the kindest freaking 
spirit. Like, I am so grateful for um, a lot of the content creators, specifically like black female creators in business, women who are on the scene, <laughs> not even on the scene, but who have chosen to share their life with us and share, like truly share their life and truly share the pieces of themselves that they are comfortable sharing. Um, and I find that recently, like people like Alyssa and um, there's another creator, her name is Alexis A. Wilkie. I find myself really, really relating to them or having similarities with them more so than um, probably any other creators that I've watched in terms of like our lifestyle because we are the same age, we're God-fearing and trying to grow stronger in our relationship with God, but like also actively acknowledging our limitations and like just trying to find ways to get better. So I feel like it's a kind space, it's a gentle space, and I think that in this world, we need more gentleness, right? We need more spaces of warmth. We need more spaces to like truly, truly connect and be ourselves. And quite frankly, like I'm in a space where if it doesn't feel good, if it doesn't feel warm, if it doesn't feel like it is like adding value to my life, and that doesn't mean like it's helping me to make a million dollars. That means that there is something about what I'm doing, what I'm watching, what I'm reading that calms my freaking nervous system like that doesn't make me feel like put my body into fight or flight you know what I mean or make my mind race that is what I'm interested in everything that makes me feel the opposite of that and I found that in these two women so I'm encouraged by that I'm encouraged by them being my age feeling in a way like we get to grow up with each other so i love it i love them so i was watching Melissa's vlog um which is nice i feel like it's nice being able to have people's content or videos or whatever that you can consume that you can just throw on when you're doing something like your makeup or cooking dinner or whatever and it feels like you guys are kind of just like chit-chatting with each other Dax outside. Hi, Mama's baby. Hi. Hi. What's up? How you feeling this morning? Ah, ah, ah. Sit. Good sit. That's your good boy. I, I didn't tell you to get up. All right. Dax and I are going to finish getting ready for today, and then I will pick y'all back up in a little bit. All right, y'all. Let's put on some clothes let's put on some clothes we're in the closet um, 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 um. I think I'm gonna throw on a button up I just got this back from the cleaners I think I'm gonna throw on a button up and some leggings another mount just so I have an extra So we finished up at the coffee shop. We went to Daydreamer. It was a coffee shop like at the bottom of a leasing office, like many coffee shops are in the city, to be honest. And it was so cute. It was so, so good. Nate had a coffee. How was your coffee? It was good. Good. We met up with um, one of our friends. He had a tea. He seemed to really like it. And then I had a hot mocha. Um, which honestly I only get one shot of the espresso so it's mostly a hot chocolate but mind your business um <laughs> and we sat and did work for a while I got a bunch of editing done and just relaxed a bit the guys chatted and walked through some things that they needed to work on and now we are feeling lunchy we're trying to decide where we're gonna go but honestly we're just gonna cook 
because you know when you just you're in the mood for like a very specific combo and it's honestly just best to cook it yourself so that's what we're about to do we're gonna run to whole foods really quickly get some fresh fish because i am really in the mood for a good fresh fish and we're gonna go home and cook and we'll probably do that chill for a little bit and see where the rest of the day takes us because like we said the theme today is vibes okay embracing spontaneity that is what we're doing How you doing? How are you? Doing well, doing well. Pasta supplies secured. I went in there with every intention to get Branzino, but they didn't have any cup Branzino, and I really can't be bothered with the whole fish today can't even lie to y'all i'm too hungry for that so we're gonna make like a lemony capery pasta with some scallops <laughs> <laughs> we got the goods nate's in his cooking era <laughs> here Hey, yo, Nate, yeah, 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 I mean, yeah. He's I'm off my, nah, I've, I've always been in my, my Chef Gordon Ramsay you, era, you but like. You've always been on your Chef Boy Arnie. Yeah, this nah, is nah, true. nah, but this is Chef, this, this is Chef Gord, Gordon, Gordon Ramsay though. This is like Chef Nate, you know what I mean? We, we in a different space. Now, right now right. he is exploring, feel me? He's out yeah. here flambeing. Now, the thing about it is, is. Ooh. The thing about it is, is now. Tell me, what's it? What's, what's about it? <laughs> what's it about? The thing about it is, is now mm -hmm. instead of always having to make the decision to eat out, now it's about okay, how can we turn this meal that we would have had out mm -hmm. and turn it up mm -hmm. in the kitchen? Mm -hmm. You feel mm -hmm. me? So mm -hmm. it's and, and also sometimes make it healthier because a lot right, of times right. the stuff we would have had right. it been fried, mm -hmm. it would have been. It would have been cooked with a lot of other seasonings that quite honestly making the chest hurt all types of stuff like so it's what i'm learning is i didn't mean to go on this is not my vlog I'm sorry. <laughs> what i'm learning is is sometimes the least ingredients are the best way to make the meals and sometimes we just got too many ingredients making it difficult for people wanting to actually cook and so Sometimes all you need is just a little bit. All you need is maybe a couple ingredients. That's all your mama and your and your grandmama and them had back in the day. Day they didn't have all the stuff we have now. No, I can rock with that because I feel like living in a city like Atlanta, like there's a lot of great restaurants in Atlanta. Don't Everything's get me wrong. a fusion. So there's at least fifteen to twenty ingredients. You to took everything. the words right out of my mouth. Like sometimes I just want normal food. Like sometimes. Yeah. I just want the meal to be what the meal is. I don't want any twists and turns. I don't want any razzle dazzle. I just want like good, yeah, you just fresh want ingredients. Good, sometimes you just want a, a nice meal, and that doesn't require you to have to add 50, 11 ingredients to it. Sometimes all it does is it requires a little bit of patience, a little, a little less burning of your food, <laughs> trying to rush through making a meal. Yep. And um, just being intentional about seeking out those different meals, man. Like, exactly. So, so we're funny. headed home. We're going to go make some lunch, chill out a little bit, hang out with Daxi Doodoo because oh, he's been at home waiting oh, for us. Um, and yeah, those are the vibes. Probably sit on the balcony, eat on the balcony maybe because it's a beautiful day out. We got to see about them bugs. <sighs> They don't really be any bugs out there. No, nah, they don't. Not but, yet. It's but, not that time of year yet. It's not mosquito time yet. This is my favorite time of year. Spring and fall in Atlanta. Chef's kiss. Yeah. And they all did the lemon. This, this like lemon half the like, lemon is. This lemon look. Okay. Tastes like freedom. Mm. Mm. Okay, so because that it's different. 
regular costume. was incredible no surprise it was so freaking good it was just so good it was so needed it was so timely it was beautiful so it was so good now we're getting food we're gonna get some sandwiches we're trying out a new place it's called bonafide deluxe i believe and i found it on TikTok from a young lady. I'm gonna drop her name down below so you guys can watch her whole video. She has some great recommendations. So I'm gonna check that out, or we're about to check that out. Then we will probably eat, maybe just puss around. Vibes. Like we said, the theme of this vlog is very much so spontaneity. So we woke up this morning, woke up when we woke up, said whenever we wake up, it's a service we'll go to. And now we're trying a new spot and we'll see what we do after. That's that. Let's go get some food. Thank you. We are back home. And I am about to say a good old post church nap. Okay. My belly is full. My heart is at peace. Soul is calm. Okay. We listen. Mind, body, and spirit. <laughs> about to be on 10. Okay. So I'm about to take a nap. Taking off all my jewelry. I'm gonna take off my makeup. Yeah, we taking we're taking one of those naps. Like I'm getting in the bed. <laughs> so I'm gonna take off my makeup and we're gonna lay down. And yeah, I think I wanna get outside. So might go for a walk or something when we wake up. It's still pretty early, like it's early in the afternoon still. Um, so I'm very happy about that. We used to go to 12 o'clock church service, but they recently changed over our services. Um, I think it was 1230 actually. We used to go to a 1230 service. Now we go to an earlier service, typically. So it's perfect because we still have so much of the day, which we didn't mind previously, like, we try to make sure that we, you know, are dedicating time to the Lord. So it didn't bother us to go to a later service. Um, we went to the later service because we actually used to get more time. Like the service was just longer and um, a little bit more. He would, he had more time to like expound on his point. So we really just liked the way that the service was designed previously, um, which is why we went to the later one. But now they're all pretty similar, I would say, um, because our church has grown so freaking much whew, in such a short amount of time that they are just doing their best to make sure that like everybody who wants to come in person can come in person. And I think that is absolutely incredible. So change the time and increase the amount of services that we have every day, every Sunday. So I'm gonna take my makeup off. Um, I'm getting my makeup cleanser out the shower because I usually take my makeup off in the shower at the end of the day. This is my favorite makeup cleanser. Bomb, it is the Clinique take off the day. I really never use makeup wipes um especially like the Neutrogena ones for some reason they make my skin burn I don't know if that's just me but it's been that way for years so yeah 
let's take off this makeup and lay ourselves down. I think I'm gonna take, keep my contacts in because I want to still have them on later. I don't think I'm gonna do a full, full face wash. I think I'm just gonna take my makeup off and then cleanse and then I'll do my whole skincare later. I'm gonna see if I can take my makeup off without taking off my eyebrow. so excited about the warm chocolate chip cookie took off i was honestly so excited i had all of my in-flight essentials i even did we are headed to the gym i'm packing up my stuff because i think i'm going to pop into a coffee shop after i have been absolutely loving doing lunch break workouts they have been so good for me mentally um I was telling Nate that I was talking the other day and I was saying how I felt as though I was just like abbreviating my days to a certain extent. Like I wasn't leaving much time to just like live life and do whatever I wanted because I would wake up or I wake up so early, go to the gym. Like I woke up and went to the gym at 6 a.m. for years. And that was great because it gave me more time to work. Then by the end of the day, I was exhausted and I needed to go to sleep early again so I could wake up and do it all again. So I have been going to sleep a little later, which means that I get to stay up a little later. And I have been using that time to not work, to not work out, to not do anything for anybody else I've been using that time to do what I want to do and enjoy my evening um so taking a midday break has been good for me functionally because I'm able to get my workout in but it's also been good mentally because it gives me a little bit of a gap helps me to break up the day and it helps me to still get to enjoy my morning and my evening. So we are headed to the gym. After we go to the gym, we are going to go to a coffee shop and finish our work day if we are not too sweaty. And yeah, let's go. workout is done now we are headed to a coffee shop nate is there as well so we're gonna go do some work um the workout was not too too bad i know that i'm gonna feel it in my shoulders tomorrow though because it was upper body and we did a lot of shoulder work today um and i have pilates in the morning so hopefully they'll be kind to me and maybe we'll do a little bit more lower body than we do upper body um fingers crossed i have been doing class pass though and i absolutely love it i really like the flexibility that it is providing me um when it comes to my workouts so i am having a blast trying it um, I did the month trial in February and then I did an uh, actual class pack this month and with the workouts that I've been taking, it turned out perfectly for me to be able to take my lift classes, um, my like strength training classes, and be able to take some Pilates classes throughout the month. So all is well, let's go ahead and get back into our work day. Ew! <laughs> 
we are home from Pilates. It was so good. It was so freaking good. I really liked it. Nate so kindly made me breakfast. We got some potatoes, eggs, a bagel. I told him that I was hungry last night and I don't think my breakfast had been substantial enough. So he made me the most substantial breakfast. I am grateful. We are just starting our work day, eating our breakfast, and those are the vibes. Let's get to it. Costco delivery might really be one of the best things that ever happened to me. Can't even lie. Going to big box stores in person takes me out, baby. I'm tired for the rest of the day when I have to go to a wholesale club. So being able to sit at my desk, work, and have it dropped off, luxury.